Good afternoon and welcome to our three o'clock watch our prayer session. We thank the Lord for the very early hour session of 6 a.m. We thank the Lord for 9 and 12 and now we are at this hour. Lord, we are grateful for all that you've done because we know you answer us even as we pray. It is not just an exercise. It is a relationship with you. And by that, we know that we are your children and you listen to us as we pray. To you be all the glory, to you be all the honor, to be you be all the adoration, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. This afternoon, I would like us to look at what the Bible says in Psalm 25, and we read verse 1 to 7. Psalm 25, verse 1 to 7. The scripture mention some things there but we'll just pick one of them and make that our prayer focus for this afternoon psalm 25 verse 1 to 7 he said unto you o lord do i lift up my soul O my god i trust in you let me not be ashamed let not my enemies triumph over me Yes, let none who wait on you be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your path. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. On you do I wait all the days. Remember, O oh Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Verse 7, where we will stop. Remember not the sin of my youth, nor my transgressions, according to your mercies. Remember you not, remember you me, for your goodness sake. Oh Lord. This afternoon we want to focus on verse 4. We want to focus on verse 4 of that scripture. We are focusing on verse 4 of that scripture which says that show me your ways, O oh Lord. Teach me your path. Show me your ways, O oh God. Teach me your paths. The Bible says there is a way that seemeth right unto man. It says, but the end thereof is destruction. So it means any man who is wise will rather crave to know the ways of the Lord so that he can end up in prosperity. Because the way that seemed right to a man can actually lead to self-destruction. Because we are limited in knowledge, we are limited in understanding. And therefore, we need the ways of the Lord. What are the ways of the Lord? The ways of the Lord is how God wants things to be done. How he wants things to be. And how he looks at things. The ways of the Lord. So when a man craves to know the ways of the Lord and say, Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your path, he's saying, I want to follow after you. I want to do that which pleased you so that you can lead me to the place where you desire that I be. I am praying for somebody this afternoon. God will reveal his ways to you in the name of of Jesus Christ. I remember in Exodus chapter 33, 
verse 13, Exodus 33, verse 13, Moses said that he should show me your ways so that he will, the people will know that I am different. I and your people, we are different from other people. Show me your ways. No wonder at, at the end the Bible says that he made his way known to Moses and his act to the children of Israel. Many today knows only the acts of God. Many knows the acts of God. God is a miraculous God. He's a powerful God. He does this. He does that. He does this. But of a lot don't know the way of the Lord. And the secret of success is in the way of the Lord. The secret of progress, advancement, long life is in the way of the Lord. The secret of lasting peace is in the way of the Lord. So when you know the way of the Lord, you are your path to perfect success. I pray therefore for everyone with me this afternoon. God will show you his way. And God will teach you his path. In Psalm 32 verse 8, he promised. He said, I will instruct you. I will teach you. I will lead you the way to go. And I will guide you with my eyes. That is God's promise for you. So this afternoon, as we pray and say, Lord, as we pray and say, Lord, please teach me your way, we need to understand that we are asking for a commitment. We are asking God for a commitment, a commitment, a commitment. I want to know your way. I want to follow after you. I want to do things in accordance to how it pleased you. Therefore, this afternoon, I decree over your life. Your life will run in the way of the Lord. Your business will run in the way of the Lord. The way of the Lord is success. How do I know that? In Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3, Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3, it says, Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, or seated in the seat of the comfort. He said, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in the law he meditates day and night. He said, Then he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, and his, his leaves shall not wither. And then he went further to say, whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Because you know the way of the Lord and you crave and you are asking God to show you his way today. You will walk in the way of the Lord and whatever you do shall prosper. Your life will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You will never lack supply. You will never lack good things. You will never lack spiritual nourishment. You will never lack spiritual guidance. You will never lack insight. You will never lack understanding. You will never lack people around you. Why? Because you know the way of the Lord. And in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, he said, This book of the law must not depart from your mouth. In it you must meditate day and night. He said, By so doing, you will make your way prosperous. And then you will have good success. The way of the Lord is in the book of the law, which is the Bible. The way of the Lord is in the book of the law, which is in the Bible. When God opened the Bible to you in a new dimension, when he opens his word to you in a new dimension, when you have understanding of the word of God in a new dimension, you make your way new, you make your way prosperous, you become another man, you become an epitome of success. I decree today that God will open his scripture to you in a new dimension. You will have a deeper understanding of the word of God. And by this understanding, you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. I pray for everyone this afternoon. Everything that is hidden in the way of the Lord shall be revealed to you. You will never be dry in your generation. You will overflow with every good thing, including wisdom and understanding. Thank you for joining us, but be assured of one thing. The Lord will show you his way and he will teach you his path so that you can walk in them and prosper. God bless you.
for joining. Again, I will come through by the grace of God if Jesus has not arrived by 6 p.m. when we will be praying again for a few minutes. Until then, stay strong, stay healthy in Jesus' name. God bless you.